my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the phases of the moon in synodic month. So a synodic month is uh, what this measures is really like the time that it takes for the moon to be from to start one phase and to come back to the same phase. So if we see a new moon the time that it takes to go back to new moon that's considered the synodic month and the period for the synodic month is uh, 29.5 days. So you measure the, the faces of the moon with respect to the sun. So I'll go briefly over the drawing and we kind of break them down from here. So we have the sun over here, so we have the sunlight travel from this position. If we're here on Earth and the moon is over here, we're going to see the dark side. So as you can tell, the sunlight is illuminating this side of the moon and we're only seeing the back of it. So this is the new moon. Now, if we're at 90 degrees from the sun, when we look up from the, say from this point, from the top, we are going to see just the first quarter, right? So we only see half of it that is illuminated and the other half that we're seeing, so this is practically our vision, the other half that we're seeing is the one that's illuminated, so this is first quarter. Now, if we are seeing over here and we're on this side, uh, what we see is the full moon illuminated, right? So we only seeing the side that is uh, being exposed directly to the sunlight. So this is full moon. And now if we're over here and you kind of flip yourself backwards, you see that this is third quarter. And this is the faces of the moon. And synodic month just means that it takes 29.5 days to go from the beginning of new moon back to new moon. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and these are the faces of the moon during the synodic month. Mm -hmm.